You could record you going to jail, so. They're taking me to jail. Put your For hands what? For what? Put your hands For what? Right now. Don't get my cameras. Nope. They're taking my cameras too. Stay back right Why now. Stay back. Get back. Is You're going with me. If Get you back, man. Step back Get back right now. Get back, man. The following video is brought to you by the Cop Block Network. For just one dollar a month, you can help this diverse group of individuals. Visit copblock.org/network for more details. Hello, everybody. Daniel Freeman. That video clip you just saw was of Herb Newton being arrested on April 9, 2015. Herb was arrested for obstruction of justice and his cameras were seized and he spent the night in jail. For the past couple of weeks, I've been helping Herb, a cop blocker from Zanesville, Ohio, with his case. We filed some paperwork with the district attorney and a few motions with the court. After two weeks, Herb and I were finally able to get his footage back. The only problem was one of his files had been tampered with. The link in the description below will show you the whole footage of Herb's arrest, including the bonus footage of Officer Tigner of the Zanesville Police Department, giving us his thoughts about Herb and presumably filming police. That's why the footage you're about to see is of Dio, Herb, and myself seeking comment from Tigner on why evidence that was in his possession was tampered with. How you doing today? All right, yourself? All right. Do you know anything about video being deleted here at Zanesville Police Department? No. No? Are you a Zanesville police officer too? Yes, I am. What's your name? Edders. Edders? You don't know about people deleting footage here at the police department, do you? Some of your colleagues? Nope. You see that video? I've seen it, but I don't know nothing about it, man. Looks pretty messed up, though, don't it? If that's what happened. What's that? If that's what happened. Well, it's video. So which Zanesville police officer are you? What's your name? Are you Moore? You look like Officer Moore. Is that your name, sir? Nope. Which one are you? Not more. What's your name and badge number? I don't know. You don't know? Nope. I'll just wait to see you when you're in uniform. That's fine. I'm still not going to tell you. All right. I'll still take your picture. How you doing today, sir? Good. Well, that's good. You don't know anything about your colleagues deleting footage off cameras, do you? About what? Uh, your colleagues deleting footage off cameras, evidence off cameras, like this one? Oh, I have no idea. There's an interesting video on YouTube. I'm sure your buddies will tell you about it. Taking that home for a little sport. What's your name? Vickers, what's yours? Uh, Ademo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, were you the guy that arrested Herb? Yep. You were? No. No? What's your name? Herb knows, he says. <laughs> Herb knows. You don't condone guys deleting video footage off of cameras, do you? Yeah. You don't condone, like, your fellow officers deleting footage off of cameras, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Tigner and Moore arrested Herb. Deleted some footage off his cameras, or someone else in here did. You wouldn't condone that though, right? You don't do that stuff. Yeah. You wouldn't do that. Nope. Yeah, that's not right. You're not sick of people filming or anything either, right? That's what Tigner said on video. He's sick and tired of it. That's what he said. Maybe you should talk to him as a colleague. You can tell him, hey, it's all right, man. Just chill. Let Be people more like film. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You, no, I'm saying, tell him be more like me, and you know, okay with it, you know? Nobody wants to be like me. <laughs> well, Tigner might if he wants to keep his job. <laughs> He's good, he says. Hey, where are you going? Uh, it looks like it. he had a dog. Oh. Yeah, Tigner has a dog. Tigner's got the dog. Hey guys, it's a demo deal and herbs in the back. Uh, we're doing a little cop blocking in Zanesville tonight. Earlier today, Dio and I went down to the police station to try to get a comment from the police officers. We got some. One cop actually said if that's what happened, it was messed up. And uh, But we tried to talk to Officer Tigner and Moore. Didn't see Moore. 
did see Tigner, but he had a canine dog, so his car parked in the back, and he just drove straight out of the lot. So now we're trying to see him out on his, towards the end of his shift here. It is raining, so it might be a little difficult. Otherwise, uh, we'll be out at the courthouse tomorrow. So stay tuned. How's it going? This is the guy I talked to the last time I was here. You remember me? Yeah. I'm oh, a demo. Rich Staley's? A demo, my name is. Yeah. 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 You were in the parking lot. Yeah. We were seeing if you were more, but you're not more. Nah. He's off today. He's off today. I know. I figured as much when I didn't see him coming in for work at three o'clock. So. uh up, buddy? But what do you think of the video? What's that? Interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. Guys that, your colleagues, man, I hopefully, you don't have to tell me because I'm recording, so you probably won't. But if you don't approve of that behavior, you should tell them personally, you know, because that's what we were talking about last time I'd seen you, you know. Well, it's raining. I don't want to sit out here all day. You just want to drive off and make it for good video? What's that? You just want to drive away and make it look good on video? I guess we'll do last time, man. We're all good. I We're all good? No, I don't. I actually, just met you yesterday. Yeah. You actually taught me a lesson, man, because uh, you made a really good point that stuck with me uh, when you said, like, because I, when I came up to you, I caught you on private property, which I think this is quasi, and, and that does kind of irritate me when cops do that. But for argument's sake, whatever, my level of hostility with you was a little higher. But yeah. I, and I explained to you that's because, like, guys that wear badges and uniforms and drive your cars have met me with that. But anywho, it did make me think about it. And so when I do walk up, like, that's why I didn't just come wrap up on your window right yeah. now. And do some other stuff. So it did leave me with a little thought about that. So you can't treat them the same way. Like if I seen every person I seen wears a cop block shirt, it's always a prick. Yeah. Right. Well, everyone's different. Right? I do believe though that that's it's different though because like people who wear cop block right. shirts aren't like arresting people. Right. And so like people who have badges and like these cars do take people to jail and stuff and sometimes for bad reason. What I'm just saying is no. I understand the principle. Just, right. I understand the principle. Right off the bat, you know, like and like I was telling the Cleveland cop up at this protest last weekend, it's like I don't think all cops are bad. Like, you know, even like yourself, you seem like one of the cops that should like go to this gas station and tell them for whatever amount of money a month you need, you'll protect their gas station, right? Like if someone steals a candy bar, you'll catch them. If someone drives off with gas, you'll catch them. And I'd be just as happy. Like, or if you came and knocked on my door tomorrow and were like, hey, a demo for 50 bucks every month, if somebody stole your stuff, I don't know. But if you did that, if you did that times a hundred, maybe that's what you need. I don't know. Because like some of you guys have different skill sets. Some of you are really good at finding lost goods. Some of you are actually better at physically protecting somebody, whether that's with like self-defense, preventative, or whatever. So I'd just rather see that done like voluntarily than like coercively, which it is done now. So, but that'd be cool. Because some of you guys like yourself seem to be awesome. And you guys probably have really good skill sets and you probably run really good business. Unlike the government doesn't operate your guys' industry so well. They create a lot of problems for you. Just a piece of the puzzle, brother. I know, but, but, he, but you know, every piece of the puzzle has to play a role, you yeah. know? Right. And so, like, I always, I always, like, I've met cops who would say, like, hey, marijuana is a bad law, but I've never seen those cops at the state house. They don't send those cops, you know? And so, like, well, those cops should show up on their own then. That's a piece of the puzzle, too. You know, like, one guy's, well, you should get elected or you should do that. Well, like, you should get elected. Or you, you know what I mean? It's like the same to say to me, you say, you, I am choosing what I think is best. And if cops really think that like marijuana or like speed traps or DUI check, like we were doing a DUI check going to Medina and one cop was like, he was a local cop, not the ones that were actually doing it. He's like, I think they're BS. You know, he's like, I don't even sign up for them. I try to stay away from them as much as possible. And it's like, well, you should advocate that, that at meetings and stuff, you know, but anywho, I'm going to go where it's dry. Peace. All right, love That's our buddy. Houston? Yeah. Houston, we had a problem. He's that new one I was just counting We're all about. playing a game. It's called Who Did It? Who deleted the footage? Someone's got to put these cop skills to work. Oh, this might be the guy. This is him. This is him. This is him. Almost hitting people. Are, are, you, are you the one who deleted my videos? No, I'm not. No. Who are you going to Do you know who did? Do you know who did delete the footage? No, I do not. All right. Find out for me. Send it through my email. Yeah, you should ask around. Some cops in there are dirty. You don't want to work with dirty cops. He's a dirty cop himself. Cooper.
Just got some questions. He just pulled around back. He's got to be getting out of his car. So if I'd be like, Cooper, interview. Yeah, I don't see his car. No, he just pulled in. Yeah. Oh, did he? That was him. Yeah, that was him. What? The car that just pulled in while we were talking. While you were talking to him. Yeah. Was Tigner. That was Tigner. He went and pulled all the way around back. Oh, he, that shit. They got the canine dogs. The both canine units go back there. Cooper. Hold that. I'm not yelling too loud. They might say you're disturbing this peaceful jail. <laughs> Just kidding about the peaceful jail part. Hey! Hey, Cooper! Hey, Cooper! Stop over here, Coop! Hey, Cooper. Hey, Cooper. Well, there you have it. Just simply trying to ask Tigner a few questions, and he avoided us for his whole shift. Once again, we're trying to bring attention to this incident in which footage was deleted by Zanesville police officers. In the next video, you'll see us head down to the Zanesville Municipal City Building, which houses the court and the police station, as well as the city jail. Ideally, I would just prefer to talk to Moore and Tigner, but since they don't want to speak, I guess highlighting it further through the whole city is our only option. Stay tuned for the upcoming video. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. You have the right to an attorney. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Pull out your cameras and shoot the motherfuckers. Pull out your cameras and shoot the motherfuckers. Pull out your cameras and shoot the motherfuckers. Pull out your cameras and shoot the motherfuckers.